fuck. Oh, fuck. Real luxury Louis Vuitton bag? Don't worry, sit the fuck down and. That's just. That's how this video starts. He just. Do you want a Louis Vuitton bag? Well, then sit the fuck down. That's just. That's the whole video. There's not a part two. There's nothing to continue it. He just sit the fuck down. You might be wondering who this unshaven muskrat of a man is. According to him, his YouTube has all the answers. And then you go to his YouTube channel and just see this. What can I eat? I can't eat chocolate. I can't drink energy drinks. Fruit is making me fat. M&Ms are bad. Sugar is the devil. You can't eat anything anymore. Everything's bad. It's all gonna kill you. Shut the fuck up! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're bouncing. We're bouncing. Oh yeah, we're bouncing. Oh yeah, we're bouncing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're bouncing. What the hell are you talking about? We're bouncing. Who are you talking to? No reason to live. That I'm, means I'm confused. I'm confused right choice. now, G. Choice is me. Everything I do is to be free and do whatever the fuck I want to do. Simple. What did that have to do with anything? You know, maybe I could have understood it if he was like, I don't give a fuck what you have to think because it's my body and I don't care. But the point of the song he just sung was, I can do whatever I want. Implying he fucked up his hairline intentionally. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that feels like it would be the definition of weird flex, but okay. So, he starts off this video looking like Yo. his cousin nobody talks about. Yo, okay. Holds the mic, camera, mic, whatever, holds the camera way too close to his mouth, uncomfortably close to his mouth. Well. I can I can count his teeth and I don't like Welcome to today. You're joining me on the beach today. The fucking glasses, man. The fucking glasses. He looks like that one dude from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I, I forgot his name. I'll put it up on screen right now. So basically, this video is about the meaning of life. And that's what he's trying to discuss. Just the meaning of life. Uh, he, he decided, he thinks, the meaning of life is there is no meaning. You live, you fuck, you die. That's the meaning of life, in his eyes. Um, something I've noticed that's very weird is he just seems like a dude here. He just seems like a normal dude just giving his opinion on a question asked. But in some of his videos, like Who this, am I? I'm Andrew. I'm a s human being like he should be in a psych ward and not just that but he talks so robotically he doesn't talk human it's like you told chat gpt to write out a script and then use text to speech to say it for you born on this planet like you and i however it's like he's he's an alien trying way too hard to look like a human and failing like a like an alien in a human skin suit that just hasn't wrapped his head around English yet. I've had an interesting life. I've had a very interesting life. More importantly, what do I stand for? Something that aggravates me personally is he talks so slow. He talks just one word a minute and it's annoying to listen to. Something I've noticed that's genuinely kind of worrying is... A lot of the comments on his videos are very cultish. They're always positive. Most of his videos have zero dislikes. And they act to just like worship him in his comments. It's really fucking weird. Something I've seemed to notice is the way he talks about food seems very much like he's encouraging eating disorders. Foods that are shit. More processed foods, shit foods, sugar, shit, inflammation with different oils or high calorie, really high calorie dense meals, which load your body or your system up in any one meal with a lot of calories all at one point. 
not great for energy, not great for vitality. It's gonna cause your body to go, oh, we need a lot of energy to process this, so we're not gonna give you a lot of energy to your brain or anywhere else, right? So why do you, why do you design diet? I'm rambling here a little bit. So your diet for performance, for example. Don't get me wrong, he's not incorrect with what he's saying. Sugar can be bad for you. Extremely high amount of calories can be bad for you. But on like on his TikTok and in a lot of his videos, he's basically it feels like he's encouraging people to eat the bare minimum amount to stay alive and to not eat food that you like. The most important thing you can do on a diet is to not cut out food you enjoy. You should never cut out food you enjoy. You should just cut back on it eat it less make it a treat just you shouldn't cut it out because you enjoy it and it's garbage food garbage food is fine to eat in moderation he's obviously allowed to diet how he wants if that's not his prerogative he doesn't want to eat any shit food that's fine but you shouldn't encourage people to completely cut the food they like out of their diet entirely because that'll make them healthier. It won't. Eating, if you like cake, eating cake once once a week or every other day maybe, just a small piece of cake for dessert, it's not gonna do any harm. You'll be fine. Eat the food you enjoy. Eat whatever, women don't listen to me. Eat whatever makes you feel good. You don't know what makes you feel good. You choose short term pleasures over what actually fuels your body and Man, I just, I just like Fruit Loops, dude. I don't fucking, I don't care about all this shit. I just, I just like my Fruit Loops, man. Nutrition. Also, CJ fucking gets it. CJ knows what's up. Bro is trying so hard to be Andrew Tate. No, Andrew, actually, I do in fact know what makes me feel good. Spell check is totally a thing, by the way. <laughs> this is the same conversation he has with his date while well, she's like... <laughs> and the reality is, is most processed foods are actually good for short-term pleasure. It makes you feel good. And I don't see, I don't see anything wrong with that. If, back to the Fruit Loops. I like Fruit Loops. I love Fruit Loops. If you fucking want to sit down and have a bowl of Fruit Loops... Go ahead, man. Having a bowl of Fruit Loops every day as a, as a tree isn't gonna hurt you. If you eat, like, a box of Fruit Loops every day, that's gonna fucking end you, probably. Don't eat a box of Fruit Loops every day. Eat, like, a bowl of Fruit Loops. Or, fuck it, I'm not your boss. Eat a box of Fruit Loops every day. That's what makes you happy. That's what makes you happy. In the end, he's not really doing anything harmful. He's... I think his advice is a little whack. I think the whole don't eat food that you like because it could be slightly bad for you or it could be very bad for you maybe never eat it ever i think that's a little that's some bad advice but also i i'm not the healthiest person in the world so i'm not i'm not like super obese but i'm not like fucking dwayne the rock johnson um I don't know. I don't agree with most of his advice. Just eat food that makes you happy. Don't let TikTok be your fucking dietary guide. Okay? If you're that worried about your weight, go find a doctor. Go find somebody that's a professional at this. He might be a professional. He might have a degree. I don't know. Maybe I didn't do enough research or digging into this. He could full well be a professional. But it's just, if he wants people to trust him, maybe he should voice himself a little better and not be so condescending on people that are watching his videos. Because he's, he he's not polite about it in the slightest. Um, if you want somebody that's actually very fucking, he's nice, he's polite, he knows his shit, he knows what he's talking about, um, and he provides evidence for what he's talking about. Um, then check out R Rob Lapham, Rob Laham? I don't know how to pronounce his username, but, um, 
this is if I was going to take my dietary advice from the internet, which I still don't think you should, even if it's from this guy or Andrew V or anyone. Um, if I were going to take my dietary advice from the internet, it would be from this guy. Just his videos are a lot, they're well made, they're well researched. He provides evidence and research and studies for what he says. So, I don't know. He's not as entertaining as Andrew V. I'll give him that. I'll give Andrew that. But if your goal is proper dietary TikToks, this is your guy. This is your man. Um, I'll put a link to his TikTok in the description. This is your guy. If you're blue, you don't know where to go to. Why don't you go fashion sits? Put it on the bits. Different types, wear a day, cool pants, red stripes, and cut away, cool 